Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Askins, Good Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Happy Monday, everyone. Um, so, quick note before we get started. Um, it was about 14 days ago since I was at PAX East. Yes, the coronavirus has 137 cases, 136 now, because one of them has actually been cured, that was in Boston, Massachusetts. That is the place where I was. Yes, I was at PAX East, and yes, I was around 70,000 plus people in close proximity. I am okay. Um, there was a little bit of a scare this morning, if you guys were in the Discord or whatnot, because when we woke up, uh, me, my wife, my kids, everyone had 99.9 .9 temperatures. Um, is anywhere in between 100 and 99.9. .9. So, we checked again this afternoon. Yes, we are all fine. Our temperatures are back to normal. I think it was just us waking up in the morning and it was warm and it was nice. I don't know. I don't know what the case was, but uh, my daughter is sick. We're on spring break, so everybody's at the house. Um, I'm going to be isolated in my own little office at work, so there's no cross-contamination of me meeting people or people meeting me or anything like that. So I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that everything's okay, we're good, we're okay, there's no need for us to go get tested. I've called and checked and we should be fine. Um, the incubation time for the coronavirus is around 14 days um, and that would have put me sick by now. And I'm not, so I'm okay. So thank you guys for your, all your concerns and, and well wishes and all that good stuff. Let's get started. Um, <clears throat> wow, by the way, that is a monumental video right there. Like, that is a, a moment in time, a moment in history, like the coronavirus of 2020 right there. Uh, I hope I don't get demonetized just for mentioning it, but I thought I'd, I'd let you guys know the information. I'm going to turn the music up just a little bit because I love it so much. <laughs> Are we speaking? <laughs> I am speaking. Sorry, was talking to the camera. By the way, this is Lulster Plays Games, aka Exotic. What's up, bro? What is up, my homie? Um, he asked for a collaboration, and I didn't have enough time to get like all set up and going, so I just kind of threw it to him. Hey, come jump in and hang out with me for a second. Um, let me get with my messages. Yep, it's Exotic RBLX. That's uh, that's his name. So, uh, what voice chat? And you're in to be in. I'm not in a voice chat. I'm just I'm just playing. The one and only Lulster. <laughs> uh, let's. Build. He's like, hiya. Boom. Um, this is what I wanted to do this episode. I wanted to get up here, uh, check and evaluate, see where we're at as far as like builds. I think I've used up all of my my stuff that's up there already, and I need to create more, but I don't remember. It's been a second. I think the last time I played the Roblox was over a week ago. Wow, it almost sounded like it had an accent right there. I don't have an accent. I'm, I'm very much American. Um, to speak, I mean, I speak American, where I've got that, that weird twang. Uh, in fact, I, I would probably say I was raised hillbilly, you know, where you just say stuff like y'all and yonder. In that outhouse yonder, that's where you go to the bathroom. If you gotta go take a leak. <clears throat> I say stuff like wash instead of wash. So like it's the washing machine instead of saying a, a washcloth. You know, it's a washcloth. No, it's a washcloth. Um, it's little mannerisms and stuff like that that always remind me where I came from. <laughs> little town of Rogersville, Missouri. Shout out to Rogersville, um, home of the Wildcats. You know, go football team or whatever. <laughs> That's not to be offensive. I um, played football, and I was actually pretty good at it. I was center. It's because I'm a, I'm a big guy. And if you don't believe me about me being a big guy, just ask anybody that's ever met me. I am 6'2", 260 pounds uh, of just pure code primate barreling down the, the field or whatnot. Speaking of sports, I am now the assistant coach to uh, my son's soccer team. So... We are going to be doing some uh, some foot drills and some dribbling 
teaching the kids the rules and tactics of the game. I had to Google most of it. <laughs> I know that sounds so bad, like, but it's it's not. It's going to be fun, and I'm going to enjoy myself immensely. Oh gosh, no! Stop. I'm going to enjoy myself immensely. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I really do. Mm. Uh, I'm teaching soccer. I'm teaching soccer. Did I spell it right? I thought it was with an O, but maybe maybe not. Okay, Google. How do you spell soccer? Soccer is spelled S-O-C-C-E-R. Nice. I spelled it right. <laughs> I hope I spell the right thing from, you know, since I'm going to be the one teaching soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a good thing to learn how it's spelt code, I'm just saying. <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, if you got here by way of one of my cards, if, you, if I passed out a card to you and I did not sign it, I do apologize. I have not been bringing my little golden uh, metallic um, Sharpie with me everywhere, which normally I do. I, I usually like sign it for everyone, but uh, if if that's the case, um, I got recognized at Chick Fil A, which was awesome and amazing. They're like, dude, aren't you that YouTuber? I was like, yeah, I am a YouTuber. So uh, good times. Um, there was something else. Somebody, somebody else. Um, I've been I've been passing out my little business card, which uh, it just points to codeprimate.com, and codeprimate.com just points straight to my YouTube channel. All the information that you need for communication or what I do. It'd be so disappointing if I fell. It is disappointing. At that or it's very exhilarating. One of the two. You know, if you purposely jump off. <gasps> no, 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 no! Oh, the lag got me. No. <laughs> okay. Well, we we already know what we need up there. We we're gonna need some doors and some uh, some more stuff. And I'm probably going to need to go pick up some more um, toilets. No, uh, not toilets. <laughs> some more uh, palm wood. Hi, buddy. Dude, I love the shirt. That is so awesome. It's green. Willy bug. 1971. What a boy. Born back in 1971. I remember the Great War, the Microsoft versus the Mac Apple book. <clears throat> Wait, what? <clears throat> no, no, it's, it's Macintosh. Macintosh. Some kind of fruit company. They made stuff like apples. <clears throat> By the way, that's something I haven't watched in a while. I would love to go and watch Forrest Gump. <sighs> By the way, there's a there's a VR app where you can actually go and um, um, watch movies together. And I thought it would be fun to have like a Code Primate movie night where um, I invite a whole bunch of uh, fans from the Discord or whatnot and we go and watch uh, a movie be a VR and, and you know we could uh, pop our own popcorn and chat and stuff like that and it would be coronavirus free because it would all be virtual it would be a way of being socially distant without being social without being antisocial you know where did everybody go uh, I'm play I'm planking plank planking planking some more Wood for some more doors. More door. By the way, I did the calculations. It was 256 doors um, for the first palm wood thing. But that starts over there on that plot. 256 doors. And the reason I remember it was 256 is because if you take the values of FF, which is, is um, hexadecimal, that is 256. Um, it goes from zero zero to FF, uh, and the way that you count in hexadecimal is zero one two three four five six seven eight nine A B C D E F. So the the values are representative of numbers. So it goes from zero through nine, which are the normal numbers, which is zero through nine in decimal, 
<clears throat> but then when you get to A, that value is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, A, B, C, D, E, E is 14, F is 15, right? So if you take multiples, which is FF, that is 15 times 15 plus 15. Okay, Google, what is 15 times 15 plus 15? The answer is 240. Oh, that's wrong. Okay, Google, what is 16 times 16 plus 16? The answer is 272. Wait, what? What? Okay, Google. What is FF hexadecimal in decimal? According to hex to decimal, the value of hex FF in decimal is 255. There we go. And that's because the binary number is 1111111. I bet you guys didn't know that, did you? Huh? If you knew binary before like I was telling you binary like if you knew the values of binary put a put a one zero in the uh, comments down below which stands for two <laughs> I used to want to have a shirt that had uh, there are ten kinds of people in the, this world those who know, know binary and those who don't and somebody already made it <laughs> Couldn't use that anymore. Oh gosh. Walk up, 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 up. Wait, wait, wait. Jump off. There we go. Well, that was pretty cool. I like how I like how that worked out. That was. Did you guys see that? Um. Okay. So a lot of you think. A lot of you um seem to think. A lot of people think that. Uh, my channel is all about playing Roblox. And for the most part, that is true. But what I've found is you guys don't stick around for the gameplay. You stick around for my voice and for me talking. And that is the majority of you, right? If, if that's not true, then uh, I need to know in the comments down below. So let me know. If you're on mobile, you can leave comments. You just have to jump out of full screen mode. Ah, uh, I caught you. You were watching it in full screen on your phone. You had it turned sideways and everything. That's okay. Um, I hope I give good advice. And I hope uh, it does last forever. But we all know that's not true. Nothing ever lasts forever. So, I hope it lasts. Whoa, whoa, Willy! Willy Bug, what are you doing? Oh, 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 uh oh. Is it stuck? It's stuck. Why is it stuck? Come here. Why are you st Okay. Okay, it's being weird now. There we go. And drop. <sighs> And push. I like having the ice up here. This is so nice. Okay, let's uh, let's make some some doors. Fat door. <clears throat> Don't call it fat. It's big boned. <clears throat> By the way, uh, if you are overweight <clears throat> or um, or underweight, either way, and you are made fun of. Don't listen to them. Okay? There have been many people in this world who have made fun of people in their weight. And it's, it's a hard subject to bring up with somebody who is overweight. Because I've been overweight before. I'm overweight right now. And I've been very much in shape in the past. So I've been both ways. I know what it's like to, to be made fun of for being underweight. I know what it's like to be made fun of for being overweight. And it's not true. You are perfect the way that you are. 
and you don't need to change for anyone. Um, a lot of body image is induced and propagated by the media, by what we see and what we hear on television, radio, YouTube. I want to say television, but I mean, it's not, not even really television anymore. Um, even in the toys that we buy, the games that we play. And I want you to know that the itty bitty skinny girls and Barbie dolls that you see on the shelves and in places like that, that's not a healthy model. It's not a healthy self image. It's, it's very much the opposite. And that in itself, I think, is almost a sickness. Now that's not to say pretty girls shouldn't be pretty and models shouldn't be models. There's a reason why we have supermodels and stuff in this world and that's exactly to do that. To become a supermodel for some product who's trying to sell something to you that thinks, oh, you have to be pretty to do this. It's not true. You do not have to be pretty. You do not have to be super tall. You do not have to be anything but yourself. Um, who was it? There was a campaign by Dove, I think, which is a soap manufacturer. And they had regular, everyday women. And they were beautiful. I loved it so much. My wife, all right, and this might be getting into too much personal information. She's very self-conscious and I tell her every day how beautiful she is and I love her so much and everything else and it's just I want her to know that she is perfect the way that she is and I don't want her to change now if she wants to diet or if she wants to eat that is her choice and I, I support it whatever she wants to do and I feel the same way about you guys um, and here's the other thing <laughs> If you are overweight and you want to get in shape, you have to do it. There's no like, oh, I wish I could get better, um, but I'm sad about it, so I have to eat. Not true. There are plenty of things. There are plenty of free programs. There are plenty of free dieting, exercise, everything, but it takes time. All right, this is one reason that the uh, the resolutions, the New Year resolutions that adults make, well, kids make them too, but I mean, for the most part, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna lose weight this year. I'm going to become skinny. I'm going to get into an exercise and go running 20 miles a day. That is not realistic. You are not running 20 miles a day. That's, let's not, let's not fool ourselves, okay? But it is a life change. Okay, it's a lifestyle. If you, ooh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh wait, thank you. <laughs> That's awesome, can I, can I grab it? There we go. If I eat it, it's gonna get in, in here. You know what, I'm gonna eat it. If you guys haven't seen this, this is the, the pink candy bar. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love it so much. Now, that's... I don't know if uh, if this has any other effect in the world, but it definitely has an effect on uh, trying to see. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Ah, life change. So the reason it's called a lifestyle or a life change is because it's just that. It's exactly that. Every day you're going to have to work at it. Every day you're going to have to change the way you eat. If you ex if you sit there and eat 10, 10 bags of Doritos and Jolt Cola or uh, Mountain Dew and chocolate bars, if you do that every single day, guess what? You're going to gain weight. You're going to get big and it's not healthy to do so. But in moderation, you can still have a Mountain Dew. You can still have a candy bar. And it's okay. You do not have to starve yourself to lose weight. <sighs> and you don't have to kill yourself just to try and get into shape. Alright? 
30 minutes of exercise every single day will do wonders and you don't have to be heavy duty going on 10 mile runs. It's activities. It's, it's not having a sedentary lifestyle, which in today's society, I am very sedentary. I mean, in order for me to lose weight and to get back into like exercise and stuff like that, I have to do what's called P90X. That is a hardcore program. I'm just going to give a shout out to Tony Horton. <laughs> If he's, if he's watching, uh, since starting the P90X program, I went from, by the way, not sponsored. This is not sponsored. He didn't pay me for this. I went from 276, 276 pounds all the way down. Oh gosh. I can't see. Hold on. I went from 276. Oh gosh. I cannot see it all down to, um, what am I at? 259, 258 right now and that's after a month and a half of exercise 30 minutes a day and it gets it done <laughs> like <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that is that is one hard program to uh, to get through but you know what I still drink sugar in my coffee I still have creamer I still have a midnight snack if I want one and it's okay just make sure that you're eating in moderation. And if your body's craving something, eat it. All right. If you're looking at that chocolate cake going, mm, that looks really good. Have yourself a slice. It's okay. But in moderation. And that's fine. You are absolutely okay to have that. <sighs> now, if you see a bag of Kit Kats, you don't need to eat the whole bag. Promise. But you can have one. You can have one or two. And it's okay. Uh, no. <laughs> Palm wood only. <laughs> Wrong wood. <laughs> Even the face, the face is perfect. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All good, dude. <laughs> Thank you for helping. <laughs> it made for a great part of the video. <laughs> no worries, I'll bring back the right wood for next time. <laughs> uh, overall, overall what? Curval, curval. I think I remember you. <laughs> I think so. It's been a while, though. Oh, for those of you that did not know, okay? I'm going to have a big surge that we're going to do for um, the discords. Uh, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, please like, comment, subscribe down below because I do these little shout outs and stuff all the time. There is a group called Lumber Chat. Discord, Lumber Tycoon 2 chat Discord, okay? And you can absolutely go over there. I've got a link to it inside my Discord, which is discord.gg forward slash code primate. Uh, paid promotion right there. Um, by the way, Discord partner, what's up? Um, actually, I don't know if that was a gang sign or not. It, like, is this a, is this a gang sign? I, I don't know. If it is, tell me in the comments down below. I don't, I don't want to offend anyone. Just, what's up? <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, it's, just, it's fine. The Lumber Chat Discord <laughs> was the original chat Discord that started. Um, I actually broke away from that to make my own Discord, and I didn't realize it was going to get as popular as it did, but I was one of the original owners over there. And uh, its uh, its actually owner is Dark J Gaming, who is still the founder. Um, I would love for you guys to go over there and join the Lumber Chat Discord. Because they've got competitions, they have build comps that go on all the time. They have prizes and giveaways and all kinds of coolness and awesomeness. Um, same thing with my Discord. You can go over and join discord.gg forward slash code primate. And I will also promote the, um, what is it, the LT2 fan base group. <clears throat> so the LT2 fan group Discord is also linked in there as well. I think... Mm, okay. The invite code is six, little case F, uppercase X, uppercase A, 
five little m uppercase e. So again, that is six lowercase f uppercase x uppercase a five lowercase m uppercase e. That is the invite code for the LT2 fan group Discord. Hop over there. Um, with all three in kind of conjunction with each other, those three discords make up the majority, the, the basis of all Lumber Tycoon 2 discords. Um, that's not to mention the one that Defaultio has. I don't know if I'm allowed to invite people to that one or not, but that's more for Projute and the uh, the wiki. Um, for you for you that don't know about the wiki, uh, Lumber Tycoon 2 has a Wikia page. Um, it's also a fandom page. It, well, it used to be Wikia, and then I guess Wikia got bought out by fandom. But fandom is the one that runs it now. Check them out. Links are in... Are they in my description? I don't know if they're in my description or not. Anyhow, Google it. Lumber Tycoon 2, Wikia. You'll find it. It has a bunch of information over there. Shout out to Unicorns and to all, all the wonderful people over there. I have not seen them in a while. Oh gosh. Do I need to go do a video for you guys? Hmm. Let me know if there's any tutorials that you need done or uh, recorded. I can do those for you as well. Um, they also have a Projute page, which uh, we have a Projute page that has like base information um, of like um, the stones and the woods and the trees and stuff like that and like some basic blueprints. But we also, we point to their wiki page. We, we are a supporting page to their wiki page. <gasps> That's about it. How long have we been recording for? Am I even recording? I don't know. 26 minutes? Dear goodness me, that's a long time. That's a long video. I should probably get going. Need anything? Uh, nope. We are good for this episode. I think it's time to do an outro. Everyone wants a self... Elfie? Elfie? You want an Elfie? Selfie up on the ladder. Let's go! I bet everyone's gonna say yes. I wish I could be your friend. Aww. I wish Roblox would allow me to have as many friends as I wanted. That's what I want. If there was one thing I could ask Roblox to do, it's allow me to have as many friends as I want. Because right now it's limited to 200. That's why I have the rule. And the rule is I only friend my kids, Blobby, 890, and collaborations. It's not particularly in that order, but that's how it goes. And I mean, right now I think I have 186 friends, so there's still some friend slots that I can give away. And if you are wanting friendship as well, you can always go look for my friendship egg. I have an Easter egg. It is hidden inside a game that you probably already know, and it's somewhere on Roblox. The clues are the place I'm buried, the place I died, my favorite view, and the place I hide. If you want any more clues, you're not gonna get them. That's it. The Easter egg right now has been hidden for two years. Nobody has found it, but once they do, I will open it up and make another Easter egg and hide it again, hopefully just as well as this one. Um, I will tell you this, you will have no indication that you are on the right trail unless you listen and look and hear and find and see what I've put in place. Literally, <laughs> there's no other indications. So. You won't be like, oh, it says, congratulations, you found the first clue to code primates Easter egg. It says nothing like that. But I've I've shown all the places in the videos. The if you've been following me since 2000 was 18, 2017, you should know where to look. If not, keep watching videos. Hopefully you, you can find the clues. I think it was shown in a live stream. I can't remember. There we go. Right there. J the Mafia. Anyone else on the way? 
We are up the ladder. Up top. Where'd uh, where'd Lego Dad go? Where's where's Lolster? Lolster. Yeah, he's still there. Lolster, are you are you coming? Okay, I'll take a screenshot with them. Lolster. Little star, where ya be? <laughs> where, where ya be, boy? Where ya be, boy? <laughs> be boy? <gasps> be boy! <laughs> Um, for those of you that didn't know, I used to break dance back in high school. In fact, I was part of a b-boy cr crew called um, Ill Motions, and my um, my break dance name was called Encounter because I did everything backwards. <laughs> yes, the six foot two marine of a man used to break dance back in high school, and I was pretty good. Um, haven't been that good since, but you know what? I'm still pretty good at it. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins. Um, subscribe if you want to. All right, there's no pressure to actually do so. That's just a call out. That's a call to action that YouTube says I should do at the end of the videos. I don't really care if I, if you subscribe or if you don't subscribe. You were here. You watched. You had fun. I had fun. And I hope I made your day a little bit better. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I'm burping into the microphone. Why am I burping? It's been 31 minutes. Love you guys. Outro.